Hello there and welcome to James Hen and Tarot. Today I've decided to make a video on the topic of reversed cards. Um, now this is a bit of a situation that people have discussed for a long time, whether they think that it's a good idea or a bad idea to, you, to use reversed cards. And um, today I'm just making a quick video to sort of give my spin on it and to help you if you're having trouble to decide on whether it's needed and appropriate or whether it's not. I think it's important with everything. It's it's down to the individual. It is down to you at the end of the day what you think is right for what you're trying to do and the style that you're trying to use. Now there is no wrong or right with reverse cards. I personally don't use reverse cards um, because I like to keep things simple and straight to the point and I'm a firm believer that with the 78 cards that you use in an upright position um, that is normally enough to uh, give you enough insight to, to help yourself or a friend or a client, depending on who you're reading for. So if anybody tells you to be a good tarot reader, you've got to use reverse cards. This isn't necessarily true, or or true at all. I'm not discounting the fact that reverse cards are very good. I know people that use reverse cards and get great results. But I also know people that just use upright cards like myself and get equally good results. So it is down to your own preference. Don't feel pressured into um, having to, 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 you know, to read reverse cards if you if you don't feel that you want to, because it is it does give a lot of depth. It is a very complicated and complex process. So if you're dedicated enough and feel that the results at the end are going to be worth it, then then go for it. But bearing in mind that it gives you a lot more detail, but sometimes it can overcomplicate things. Um, I'm a firm believer that the cards are meant to be read upright because the cards did initially start with the Marseille. And of course, a lot of those cards, including the pip, pip cards, for instance, didn't have pictures anyway. So whichever way around you had the card, it's still the, the same the same picture. It didn't make any difference. Um, but with the Rider Waits, obviously, I can understand because there is symbolism. But to me, symbolism is meant to be is one of the things you're supposed to read from a card. And uh, if you've got a card that's upright, you you can't re uh, that sorry reversed. You can't really read much from that unless you're just using your intuition or just going for standard reverse meanings. I'm not against it, as I said, but my personal opinion is I just keep it simple. There's enough meat on the bone. <clears throat> to, excuse me to read cards upright so that's my spin on it um, but I'd love I'd love to hear your views um, if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and just leave your comments below I'd love to, to see what you think about it but uh, don't be pressurized into thinking that you have to read reverse cards it's really a it, the preference lies with you what you wish to do so I hope you found this of some use thank you for watching till next time bye bye